Some of the common things that pisses truck drivers off. Well, I ain't even gonna try to get into that forte, but is uh having to sit at shippers and receivers for too long. This has been the longest fucking year of my life. January this year marks a year that I've been out on the road. I've been to California, Utah, Mexico. I've been to 43 states in that period of time. Time flies by when I'm at home and it goes slow when I'm on the road. The only thing that keeps me sane out here is cigars, Jesus, no pun intended, and uh, watching a lot of conspiracy videos. Keeps my mind active. One of the common things out here is cat severe cabin fever. <coughs> Some people can deal with it. Others can't. It drives me fucking up the wall. It's frustrating when you get up early in the morning, you gotta be at a place to deliver, I mean to pick up early, and you sit there all day. This is, uh, I think nine hours I've been sitting here now, even though it doesn't give you a time when they're gonna finish, and all the workers are just, half of them are sitting on their ass and scratching their balls. It, it really pisses you off. Especially when you're used to driving in the daytime, but looks like I'll have to drive this one overnight. Luckily, I got good night's sleep. I got to enjoy some home time. And yeah. This is a, uh, if you're curious what I'm smoking, this is a Monte Cristo White Series Connecticut wrapper. It's a decent cigar. It's no Davidoff, but hey. things are a pain in the ass sometimes to smoke. It's a hit or miss with these. I guess I got the bad one in the batch. There we go. That draw up and up now. This is one of the few things that I can somewhat enjoy while I'm out here. To keep from beating people's heads in. My company thinks that they know everything too. Luckily, I'm not company, but still got a haul for them for a while. I always pretend to know everything and know every situation out here when they really don't. There's a lot of things that go on out here that people don't really understand. Nobody wants to tell it like it is anymore. It's claustrophobic in this motherfucker. I mean, you're away from your family for months at a time. That's all right, it brings home some decent bacon. I went from making less than 30,000 a year to close to six figures. And it's a time span of three months. So it's good money, but it wears you out. It's bad on your health. I'm sure somebody will say this is too, but you gotta get, something's gotta give. You get to see a lot of beautiful things while you're out here, though. See things that you don't want to see. See things you've always wanted to see. You're either burning, busting your ass or you're sitting on your ass. That's all I can really say about that. I guess you got to make this little shithole as homely as you can. I ain't gonna try to become popular like all these other truck driving stars and shit. I guess maybe that's what I'll title it, the realities of truck driving. Half the food out here, if you're not careful, gives you fucking diarrhea. That's a given, though. It's really hard, unless you got a big ass freezer and a skillet to find the time to cook properly. See, I'm either stuck to canned goods or something okay to eat if I know where it's at. 
Probably my favorite place to drive is the Rocky Mountains during the summertime. Out west. Places like that. I'll try to make some videos of some cool places I go eventually. Uh, yeah. A lot of shippers are lazy as shit when they're loading trailers. God damn, they're lazy as fuck. But, whatever. Either way, outlaw out.